the last complete reversal of the earth's magnetic field the so called last chance event took place 42000 years ago radiocarbon analysis of the remains of kauri trees from new zealand now make it possible for the first time to precisely time and analyze this event and its associated effects as well as to calibrate geological archives such as sediment and ice cores from this period Simulations based on this showed that the strong reduction of the magnetic field had considerable effects in the earth's atmosphere. This is shown by an international team in a study that appears in the journal Science. The earth's magnetic field undergoes permanent fluctuations and occasionally even reversals of polarity occur. Their causes, cause and effects are not yet fully understood. Researchers have now investigated the so-called last chem event in more detail. It refers to the last complete reversal of the polarity of earth's magnetic field around 42000 years ago. Not only did the magnetic field change direction, it also dramatically lost strength over a period of several hundred years. About 42000 years ago, the magnetic north pole moved south. Within this process which lasted about 500 years the magnetic field weakened to between 6 and 0% during a period of about 500 years the poles remained reversed with a field strength that varied between 28% of today's value only to reverse again over the course of about 250 years this exact chronological classification is now possible by linking different data sets Firstly the researchers used results on the earth's magnetic field from sediment cores of the Black Sea by the team from the year 2013 which were matched with the Greenland ice cores via climate variation documented at the same time Secondly the exact analysis and dating of the events was only made possible by the radiocarbon analysis of a subfossil kauri tree that grew in the wetlands in northern new zealand for around 1700 years during the period in question and was subsequently very well preserved in the swamps with the dwindling of the magnetic field the earth is losing an important protective shield against cosmic radiation at least in part this is also reflected in increased levels of the radioactive carbon isotope carbon 14 in the trees The reason for that is the increased formation of carbon-14 in the Earth's atmosphere during the bombardment of nitrogen by high-energy electrically charged cosmic particles. The subfossil kauri trees are an exciting archive of atmospheric composition. These trees can live for several thousand years and record annual variations in atmospheric radiocarbon content as they grow, which the research team measured precisely. This data improved the calibration curve for radiocarbon dating allowing more accurate dating of a wide range of climate archives and fossils. They also allow a direct comparison to ice cores. Beryllium isotopes measured there show similar variations to the radiocarbon in the trees as the production of both isotopes in the earth's atmosphere depends on the intensity of cosmic ray hitting the earth. To investigate further effects of the weak earth's magnetic field on the atmosphere and thus also on the global climate the researchers carried out simulations of atmospheric chemistry among other things they found a decrease in ozone it is important to further analyze the effects of the weak magnetic field in this direction in view of current developments because the earth's magnetic field has already been weakening for about uh, 2000 years Compared to the first direct measurements uh, 170 years ago, a weakening of 9% was observed in the area of the South Atlantic, even 30%. Whether this means that a pole reversal is in offing for the next 1 to 2000 years is debatable. However, a collapse of the natural radiation shield would pose a great challenge to our present day society which is very much based on electronics.